Yes, uh, thank you, Louisa. Um, congratulations today. Thank you. Three hours out there in that heat. Um, you had incredible composure. The first six double faults went to Ali Zay. How were you able to pull this off? Yeah, um, thank you. I, you know, I played well today, and I think uh, served well, and I just stayed solid when I needed to, and um, you know, made a few balls, made a few more balls at the end, and just uh, kept my composure and kept, you know, kept fighting out there. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely hot. Um, I think. You know, we were having long rallies and long points and both feeling it a little bit, but um, fitness is a big part of my game, so I tried to use that to my strength today and, um, you know, happy to get through. All right, hello. Hi. Um, uh, entering the tournament, uh, your coach and your entire campus talked about playing within yourself, having confidence. How has that um, propelled your performance thus far, and do you feel like you're one of the players now? Yeah, I definitely feel like I belong here, like I'm one of the players, and um, you know, I did bef before as well. It's not just, just the results, but they definitely help, and um, definitely confidence boosting. So um, I've been working on playing within myself and just you know, being solid and not trying to go for too much, and that's what I did today and, and first round as well, and hopefully I can keep going. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, congrats, Lisa. Thank you. Um, so the past two years, you've played in qualifiers and lost in the first round. Now you have two top you know, 60, 70 wins. What kind of change this year do you think to lead to these kind of results? Um, I think you know, not one big thing. I think just throughout the last couple of years, I've been working on a little bit of everything. So um, I think I'm definitely a little more seasoned now as a player than I was before. I think I understand my game a little better and and am better at you know playing the way that I want to and like I said before playing within myself and not trying to do anything spectacular but just being solid and I think I'm a lot more solid now than I was two years ago and, and even last year. Um, you said that fitness was a, a large part of your game mm -hmm. and can you just tell me a little bit about like percentage wise how much time you spend on court versus in the gym and uh, how that helped you today specifically in these conditions? Um, yeah, well today specifically, it's obviously really hot out there and humid. And um, she, plays, she, play, she plays very physical and, and you know, I like to think I do as well. So we were having <laughs> long rallies, physical rallies, and um, you know, I definitely needed to, to have my, my, my fitness out there and I needed to rely on that today uh, a lot. And in terms of how Sorry, how much I train fitness-wise versus tennis. Well, um, you know, during tournaments, obviously, you're just maintaining. But um, when I'm during training weeks, I definitely do, you know, a little bit of fitness every day. Uh, obviously, maybe not as much as tennis, but uh, at least an hour a day. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hello, Louisa. Congrats. Hi, thank you. Uh, with the win, you move closer into into breaking into the top 100. Was that one of your goals for uh, the end of the season? Yeah, uh, breaking in the top 100 was one of my goals. I don't like to set, you know, ranking goals specifically, you know, to break a certain number. But um, obviously, it's in the back of my mind, and, and um, you know, but I'm still focused on the process, and and my goals are mostly process oriented, so that hasn't changed. <laughs> 